Okay, so uh, a very good evening to all of you, all the audience, and uh, here we have uh, Mr. Arav Chaudhary and well-known Mishma across the globe. So welcome to the show, sir. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back again to my uh, show, Talks with Arav, and Jose is going to interview me. Uh, I don't know what he has in mind and what he has got in store, but uh, let's go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. So, 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 so I've, I've seen your uh, videos, you know, I've been on YouTube. I'm very active now. So, first of all, why YouTube, first of all? <laughs> why YouTube? YouTube has got a larger audience base. YouTube is, uh, it connects you with a wider audience all over the world. So, that is the primary uh, the reason. I guess lockdown had give you a, given a lot of space to uh, explore YouTube and give content. <laughs> huh, because uh, it is not really just the lockdown itself because I've started filming recently. So uh, it's not that I have ample time on hand, but uh, uh, I've had the thought of being on YouTube, but I just could not. Uh, think of the right content and you know how to go about it but now uh, this is what uh, the thought is uh, and I'll start with this where are, where are you based now so where are you now it's it's big good in the background <laughs> well, I'm in a, in I'm in Agra I'm in a hotel room uh, I'm filming here so I've been for the last few days I've been here almost like a week 10 days I guess Sir, so, so this, this conversation is not in this entire interview. Uh, there is no much of a structured one. It's a very candid conversation. I'm right. just a little bit curious to know about uh, why did you choose the Bollywood industry? What made you to come into the industry? That's my first question. I have always been intrigued by cinema. Uh, even as a child, when I used to watch movies, my mother was very fond of watching movies and... Uh, uh, you know, we would go as kids and watch movies. And my my father was in civil services, so we had uh, uh, easy access to uh, cinema, uh, and uh, we would watch all the latest movies. Uh, not all of them, but you know, whenever, as and when. So I still remember looking at the big screen and, and, and thinking, this is, you know, amazing, this huge thing and these huge figures and there must be something behind this. There's probably a, like a big field out there and, you know, people are, are doing all this behind uh, uh, in that field. So that, that, that <laughs> when I was a really small kid and then... Um, it was very interesting and intriguing. And so I guess that was the seed uh, of, of, for this, uh, you know, thought of me being an actor. And then slowly and gradually, uh, I had interest in doing skits in school. And um, I started doing, I did my first skit when I was in the fifth standard. And then from there on, it went on and on. And by late school, I knew that this is what I wanted to do because I it was very, very exciting for me to be part of, you know, the acting process. So just, just out of the context question, anyways, uh, since we all have gone through the period of lockdown and still it is, you know, it is on the lockdown phase only, uh, yeah. what are the takeaways or the positives or negatives? It's, it's a lifetime event for all of us. So what are the Positives and negatives around uh, lockdown for you See, negatives are that we all suffered uh, hugely in the sense that we have lost near and dear ones, one primarily. And then um, we have suffered due to uh, lack of work. Uh, and that directly has uh, hit. Uh, almost everybody in the country and, and in the world, um, you know. So it has uh, uh, wiped out uh, people's uh, savings and incomes. So everybody's, uh, uh, you know, sort of starting from scratch all over again. So, you know, that thought itself 
uh, that's uh, it's a difficult process positive uh, of lockdown i would wouldn't really know what to say about that because um as an actor as a person i'm a very um, uh homely kind of a guy i i not really outgoing as such i work i would go to the gym and i come back home so uh, being with family is nothing uh, new for me you know wherein people have uh, sort of connected with their families and they like suddenly oh you know it's it's a great thing we bonded back so that that's uh, always been there you know so yeah so the, i guess more or less that's that so coming to your career path you know, so many movies so just roughly how many movies you have worked for serials or something or that i of- never put a number on anything in my life i firmly believe uh, in the possibilities and uh, you know everything infinite so i the rough idea probably i must have done 20 25 feature films in various languages including english hindi tamil kannad uh, and uh, television i seriously don't have any idea how many shows and episodes i have done and uh, prior to that i was a model for almost 10 years so i've done i don't know maybe 50 ad commercials music videos probably yeah less or more i don't know but but i still remember i guess i don't know which definitely in school maybe in secondary or primary doom was a fabulous uh, famous uh, movie that time about bikes and all and i heard you sing that tone of doom can you can you please sing that for me <laughs> in this interview too oh the theme of doom please. doom machale <laughs> doom machale doom machale doom Doom machale, doom machale, doom. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Uh, since you don't have a count, okay, perfect. But there must be some breakthrough in the career, right? So, what was that character or that movie or that uh, character where you had that breakthrough in your career? See, Joe. Uh, every human being, every person, every creative person rather goes through. uh various steps uh, in creativity and and any point of time you feel this is a breakthrough like when i got my first film uh it i think it was lado and now it was a small digital film and uh, i played the lead in that i was the hero of the film and it did well and it got the national award as well the film got the national award so that itself was like wow you know so it's a breakthrough right have you and then <laughs> then yeah at that point of time so when i look back then uh uh you know prior to that when i did my first ad commercial with uh, rakesh om prakash mehra was the director for ec tubes uh, ashok mehta god bless his soul the biggest uh, dop cameraman that we've had in the industry he was doing the camera and at that point of time he was doing films simultaneously with subhash gai again so that was a major breakthrough then came in music videos uh, you know and i did uh, jalwa uh, and i did uh, you know with uh, music videos with anaida and suchitra krishna murthy dole dole so that again in that space of music videos again was a major breakthrough so time and again one has to reinvent oneself and whatever life you know offers you you go with that and you, it seems as if okay this is fantastic this is the breakthrough uh and in recent years uh, in the journey i would say it has been mahabharat and bhishma uh but definitely one thing i would say is that so far i have not gotten any role any character which is so well written and well conceived and uh, you know on paper on screen the way it is shot it i haven't gotten anything which he can even come close to uh, bhishma and mahabharat so uh, that is uh, again a huge breakthrough so 
that's how the journey goes the recognition is more to the bishma character <laughs> Who yeah, no, I completely, people. I completely agree with that. Uh, Ishma uh, has gotten me recognition beyond what I had earlier and what I had thought of. Uh, the thought process was that you know people will uh, love, love me, like me. They will probably uh, you know uh, like my work because of you know everybody, every actor works hard, and you feel like okay, this is going to. change things and this is going to be huge so yeah but uh, what i didn't uh, expect uh, was that it's going to take me internationally uh, you know and i will have a worldwide audience and thanks to mahabharat and thanks to prishu today uh, i have an audience which is uh, global russia china indonesia uk us you know everybody people have all over the world they have liked and seen bhishm and mahabharat and they've connected with me and they 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 write to me every day you know which is uh, amazing so so basically if i see the entire mahabharat the, the cast and crew was very much perfect right so uh, and of course you have carried that particular uh, character all together right so if not bhishm then what which which character would you like to act as no i never really get a much of a thought for me bhishma was the most uh, important uh, character uh, and and the variety of emotions the journey of bhishma from a uh, you know a boy who is in his 20s devrat uh, then how he becomes the young prince and then how he becomes bhishma and from there on how he goes on to being you know uh at growing in age and responsibilities and when he's 25 30 40 50 200 you know so there was nothing which is which which can come close to uh playing uh, a character for an any actor the you can imagine a boy from 25 to 200 so the way he will walk the way he'll speak the way he will uh, react everything keeps changing not only in his age but his circumstances what all he's facing through what all he's going through in generations you know what all he's faced the issues that he's faced as a young boy to the old bishma so that journey cannot be compared uh, with any other character uh, simply for a performer so for me as a performer that was the best possible part the character is also like sees all all of the generation from the initial to the last point of time every decision you know so everything yeah. bishma is through and through right so that is the whole character yeah. what is there yeah. so so any any uh, any kind of learnings in that particular episode and entire uh, mahabharat i guess it must be a matter of two two years or so for the entire shoot so what was the learnings what you had in mahabharat shoot anything special see every time you go life is a learning process uh, every day you look around you pick up and you learn things but uh, as far as uh, bhishma is concerned uh, i possibly i can say that what i try and imbibe is uh, uh, the humility that bhishma had Uh, Bhishma was the biggest and the strongest warrior of that time. Uh, you know, he his own guru, Bhagwan Sri Parshuram, even he could not defeat Bhishma. Um, and uh, he was the greatest warrior. He was a skilled uh, statesman, um, a diplomat. You know, very well learned. but yet at the same time he was very humble okay so uh, at no point in time bishmo had any kind of arrogance in him that you know i'm so and so uh, in fact in the show it has been shown that uh, uh, his his mother uh, and i'm not talking about ganga i'm talking about the uh, matsakanna uh, who basically is his father's wife 
uh, after marriage. So she also says that, okay, you know, as long as you are the the, the uh, head of the family, as long as you are the commander in chief, uh, Hastinapur, you know, doesn't have to worry. And it is from day one till Kurukshetra when when all the Kauravs, they, they are like, you are a shield. Okay, so there is no way that anybody can even forget about dreaming about winning the war from us. As long as Bhishma is standing in front of us, you know, nobody can do that. So to that, Bhishma would always turn around and say that, never do that. You have to do something, whatever you have to do, you आप समय आएगा जब आपको स्वयं अपने बल का प्रदर्शन करना होगा और वो समय आएगा तो भीष्म वाज नेवर यू नो एग्रेसिव और दैट आई एम सो एंड सो यू नो फुल ऑफ हिमसेल्फ और एनीथिंग ही वाज वेरी हंबल सो आई हैव ट्राइड टू यू नो एम्बाइब दैट क्वालिटी ऑफ हिज करेक्ट सो सो इफ यू इफ यू सी द एंटायर series entire episode uh, and what you are speaking right now is you see vishma as a different character and you as arav as a different personality so what kind of state of flow you were in when you were at this character at the character what kind of state of flow you had see when i play any character i am not uh, in that character beyond the point of uh camera roll action and cut i do not stay in that character beyond that point uh so being bhishma i would be called uh, on set but since at that point of time apart from one f- film that i did in between that was the only part uh, for over a year of time i was doing and i was filming for so i had created that uh, body that uh, look of bish you know how uh, he would walk how he would look like his you know muscles eight pack warrior uh, how his voice would be how his voice would change with age in in every uh, you know situation so that was the most interesting bit and uh, it did not uh, go away so when i would come on the set uh, i would be myself you know but uh, that structure of what bhishma is all about would always be in the back of my head but i i i would tell my directors and my my actors when i would reach the set that uh, you know or even the audience who would be there the fans who would be there i'm not bhishma i'm mara <laughs> i said i call bhishma when the director says uh, role so then i humbly ask bhishma to come and bhishma comes in and uh, you know action and the magic happens and when he says cut so i send bhishma away thank you so much so that is the way it has been uh, with me that, that's the grace what you get from bhishma all together <laughs> <laughs> but on the other on, on the lighter note do do give us a few tips on uh, fitness and diet if you don't mind on youtube then we really help you <laughs> of course i will uh, i have uh, posted videos uh, even in lockdown how i have uh, worked out at home without any gym you know or whatever little bit of weights i've had at home so i managed to you know do bench press on the sofa i uh, used my cat litter's uh, weight to you know lift the weight uh, do biceps and triceps and whatever so yeah that that has always been there and, and, and it 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 shall continue there as well so where there is will there is a way so you <laughs> still he can go on and do it right so yeah. uh, so are are sir uh, if, what if if not bollywood then which profession nothing i don't believe in plan b <laughs> so i never had a plan b and uh, i always felt that uh, you know this is what i want to do and i'll give my 100% to this so uh, there was never any other thought in my head that 
uh, let me think, let me try this. If it doesn't work, I can fall back on this and I'll do that. No, I've never thought of that. So it was always being an actor, giving it my best and I'm still at it. So that, that means according to you, if, if you're passionate about something, and if you're going to achieve that, it is really going to work. Mm. That's what you mean. More or less. Because, um, see, one has to believe in in, in God, in the universe. Uh, we are not the most important. I humbly surrender myself to God every day of my life. And uh, whatever... I do uh, in my work, in my life, personal and professional, both. I surrender it to God. I'm just a medium and I'm doing whatever I'm doing. Uh, there's a higher power. Now you can give it whatever names you want to give. Uh, there's a huge universe out there. You know, we talk about uh, states and we talk about caste and we talk about religion and we talk about, but uh, we, we are much more, uh, you know, bigger. There's a world out there which is beyond planet Earth and the Milky Way galaxy. And there are so many galaxies like that out there in the universe. So uh, that is the thought process that, you know, uh, you give your best. Uh, but there is destiny. There is something out there that will guide you, that will take you to places. And if it is not meant to be, uh, there's always something else. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, God is going to show you that path and you move on to that one. So with your answer, uh, just a bit curious about knowing what keeps you going, what motivates you? There are a lot of factors that motivate me. And they can change also at times in whatever uh, life is uh, uh, shown you. But the most important part, I would say, is my passion for acting. Uh, I'm the happiest. I'll tell you, I'll uh, sacrifice anything. I'll sleep for three, four hours in 24 hours. Uh, I'll... It's like right now, we last two days and off last two days, three days, we've been filming in heat in Agra. We are here and um, it's extremely hot. And throughout the day, we've been filming in the sun uh, or it could be cold. It could be raining and snow, whatever. So the passion for I'm the happiest when I'm acting, you know, that is primarily uh, and what I tell people also, like yesterday, there was this friend who wanted to know that, okay, I'm going to be in college now. And um, what do you suggest? Uh, how do I go about life? And so I said, as long as your inner self tells you that you're happy, you know, do that. And things will fall into place. So more or less, that is the guiding force that, uh, you know, my passion, what makes me comfortable, honestly, uh, you know, and you are at it. A few couple of last questions what uh, I wanted to ask you. is It's, it's going to help a lot of audience also now. Uh, a very important right. question is about uh, what are the key learnings? I mean, what are the takeaways from you? What, are, what would be the advice what you give to the young actors you know, who are aspirant to become actors? See, be honest. Whether you want to be an actor, you want to be an athlete, you want to be a businessman, you want to be, you know, a cricketer, sports person, whatever you want to do in life, be honest with yourself. The most important thing. Uh, know your strength and your weaknesses both. Okay. Work on your weaknesses, make them your strengths and your strength, whatever you have, you know, put it up front. That is the only, uh, you know, advice that I have that you uh, be a, will be a winner in whatever you do in life. As long as you are honest with yourself, 
be self critical you know that i am good at it but i do not know this i need to work on this i need to learn this every day of my life that happens you know everything else will fall into place adav sir just yeah uh, it is a very good insight what you gave i'm pretty sure the uh, young aspirant who wants to get into acting will definitely take this but uh, what kind of mindset should a young person have to come into this industry so they feel it is glamorous it is a lot of money so are these right sort of attitude to come to the industry <laughs> this we discussed in the day when you <laughs> for me see the most important part which even i did not know because you know when when you have the passion the burning desire to do something you do that and and that is the driving force and it takes you through and it should be that right but when you ask me this then then let me just give you an insight on what reality is it's a lot of hard work it is the only profession in the world where you have to give your 100% every day every minute every second there is no off day off minute of second in this profession if you are a guy who's got a a stall of let's say samosa you are a fruit vendor a fruit seller you are a cobbler you are a business tycoon okay you're a businessman you are uh, working for the government you are a civil servant uh, any profession okay you can have an off you can say today i am not well uh, the manager will take care of it or my brother will take care of it i have a shop but i don't have to sit there every day you know and eventually i'll hand it over to my son you know he or my other family members will take over and i can chill and relax that i work for an x amount of time okay. and the business is doing well and the other person and the other family members they can take over and you know i can do something else uh uh-uh. here as i said 24/7 the day you first of all cannot hand it over to anybody else you cannot not be giving 100% today just because i've got an issue at home some family trouble my or i'm just lazy today you know so i don't want to go to the factory today i i'll just take the day off no i cannot ask anybody uh, from my family my staff my people that uh, why don't you you know go and stand and do the shot for me i'm i just want to relax for an hour for an hour. <laughs> not even a second you so that yeah. is that is something that you should always keep that that thing in your mind which people do not realize it's a 24/7 always on kind of a profession there is no off the day it is off you are off you don't get money you don't get paid you you are out of public uh, memory people forget you and they move on unlike as i said if you have a shop of your own you will not because you created a brand and somebody else is your your son your grandson somebody else in the family is taking over and the brand name itself is growing not here it is you only you whether you 20 whether you 200 whether you 150 whatever the day you say that okay i am not interested or today i'm a little lazy listen that that day itself is like okay it's not working you know so that is the most important thing that one has to keep in mind if you want to be a performing artist a performing actor and of course it is the most difficult profession to be in which i have come to know <laughs> now that takes learning yeah you have to spend a couple of years to learn it without every day no because what happens is in a performing actor's life as every human being you will have ups and downs have highs and lows and uh, life is never the same but here there is a constant pressure of competition which is in your face in no other profession it's 
never always in your face here whether somebody is senior than you whether somebody is junior than you whether somebody is just joined in or somebody has been there forever and who's a superstar okay everybody is out there in your face and better than you so you have to be at it you know and you like okay it, this one is better and that one is doing this and this one is doing that so not that you are physically competing with anybody i don't believe in that i don't compete with anyone but it's in my face every day and i have to be 100% at it physically mentally prepared to give my best and to be relevant i have to be creating whatever is relevant today you know whether it is because performing as an actor uh, the styles keep changing or, or the, the the style of, of filmmaking cinema everything is is it is refreshed you know and changed so you you have to reinvent and keep doing stuff which is relevant today aaj se 20 saal pehle 30 saal pehle jo hota tha wo ab nahi hota hai right and whatever you doing right now uh, 10 years 20 years from now uh, it is going to change again and then and with time you have to change yourself and you have to be uh, relevant so that is my advice i hope this will be really helpful for uh, the audience who are watching yeah uh, i just want to know a little uh, curious to know again one most memorable enjoyable day of course i have an expected answer that every day you enjoy do it but uh, one most memorable day and one day you were very caught up maybe you were not able to do this or that you were stuck up totally so two memories of your you know in your journey of this industry oh you talking about one memorable day of me awesome. being an yeah. actor fantastic awesome uh, day to not to forget at all i cannot really think of any day as being a great day or a bad day ever in my life because honestly speaking um you know i'm going through a crisis uh, even as of we speak today um but i cannot be uh, put down because of the issues that i'm facing currently right now uh and i do not think in that direction i i i think of what is the best that can happen today what is the best that that i can do today you know um so there are good memories and i tend to automatically my system tends to erase the bad ones seriously honestly so i do not have i mean you do remember and try and recollect that that one was rude to you or this one didn't you know do something but it it's a very uh you know faint memory it is never a very strong thing with you so similarly you know the great days uh, that that you you had or shared uh they also they are good memories and and uh but come to think of it and answer your question i am not the sort of person who's sort of ever jumped with joy and said yeah you know this is amazing and today is the best day in this um i believe that life has to be joyful and uh, and i've always been like that uh, people who've known me over the years right since school uh, you know i believe that do your best give your best and every day uh, will be a good day if things are not going your way uh, then you have to just hold your torch look through the dark tunnel and you know move towards light that you know one day you will reach the light so that is how i see it there are many memorable days of me winning uh, mr india standing on stage and my name being announced me 
doing some amazing scenes with some amazing star walls me meeting mr bachchan the first time me receiving a gift from mr bachchan the first time uh, with this handwritten note first time i met him uh, was during the filming of lakshan over the years uh, you know throughout uh, till i would say yesterday uh, he's always been there and he's been very sweet and uh, you know so that there's a bond there and so you know or meeting uh, or working with dani saab dani nagzompa uh, and and sharing his passion of you know swimming in the sea with him you know going in the sea and swimming with him in the sea uh or his passion for music his singing and we would sing together and then uh, me going to his house and singing with him and him uh, showing me uh, you know i mean i walked into his house and he's got a beautiful uh, house in jhu and right behind amiji's house so I went in there and he said uh, and he's he's a very casual kind of a person you know you do not uh, he's not like a formal person or whatever so he turns around and says chal chat pe chalte hain raj upar aaja so we went on the terrace and then uh, he called for a tape recorder because he had tapes old you know those tapes yes. old tapes yes, yes, yes. and he had recordings of ya cassettes recordings of uh, rd burman uh, uh, and himself when he's singing and performing and that was uh, like an amazing memory that i have i was like he sharing that with me you know yeah. and he was like are ye gana maine tab gaya tha aur ye wo so there are many many such uh, memories uh, amazing memories you know so life goes on you make new memories <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so uh, what kind of future endeavors you have what kind of projects right now you are uh, working at right now i'm just grateful to god that i'm working uh, started working after over a year and a half and um, i'm healthy and my family is safe uh, my mom and brother they they've been hospitalized for a while uh, but they'll they'll be good soon and they'll be out soon so that right now the thought is not what great work i'm going to do the thought is i keep telling people also that we are alive we are healthy and we are grateful that's what it rest everything else once the entire country gets out of this mess the entire universe the entire world gets out of this mess we can create a new world you know so there are talks of i was supposed to do a tamil film uh, it did not happen because of lockdown got postponed uh, some web shows uh, a few television shows but everything is uh, uh, of a hindi feature film as well so everything is uh, sort of on standstill right now you know so we are just waiting that this the gets parties. over and then yeah everything is just in the pipeline pipeline will come through yes. so how many languages yeah. you know since you mentioned tamil how many languages do you know to speak a bit a bit you understand you can speak a little bit no i languages as far as me knowing languages uh, honestly speaking i know i think four or five languages i know hindi english uh, urdu punjabi rajasthani yeah i guess so these are the languages that i speak four or five languages i understand uh, rest i would like to say it's a gift that i can pick up any language in the world with the right accent and the right pronunciation it will take me a while to understand the meaning but i can perform on that accent and that language uh i thought it probably was every actor's uh, you know resume that you can do that but i was pleasantly surprised that not many actors can do that uh, because when i when i travel let's say if, uh, i was filming for uh, a tamil film in serbia so 
they, the way they will speak english is going to be very different from anybody else you know so that i could start speaking like them you know <laughs> or how a russian would speak english or how a chinese would speak english or how uh, you know uh, an american would speak english okay, or, or tamil <laughs> sorry for us to accent for us <laughs> to accent maybe a japanese or <laughs> russian speaking english well the last thing i did recollect uh, i said i was in so and uh, they they have a very strong uh, russian connect so they are like uh, wo- brother i just want to understand uh, why is it that in india you know there is too much of population and they are they they use a lot of hand gestures you know i'm just uh, wondering uh, if we were to shoot here you sit there and you jump and then you get on the bike and then you go like that but uh just uh, don't understand uh, is it really important for us to do this otherwise we could do it tomorrow right so every oh. <laughs> person every yeah every every region they the way they will speak the way they will use their gestures the body language is very different so which i have a gift i think that i can pick up and uh, you know and by busy since you mention a lot of uh, you know south indian movies especially tamil tamil you say i will give you like i would like to give you two sentences that you will be able to repeat <laughs> okay, try that. Uh, i i i can try that but it takes me a little while it doesn't It's, happen straight away you, in, in right? any word or any sentence you know apparently in tamil wanna come tamil makkal oh yes guys i mean i i yeah i mean i can uh, if if uh, uh, how i work in tamil is uh, that i get the dialogue uh, not necessarily i get the dialogues one day prior i get probably half an hour before the shot so i go through it i understand the meaning of what i'm doing what is happening then i uh, get the pronunciation correct i get it recorded from somebody from the unit you know probably a writer or a director or an assistant director then i record it i hear it again and again and then i do it so it's a half an hour 30 minutes 20 minutes process so don't expect any miracle in like one minute you say no, just, one line and just, just expect that i'm going to be following it right away <laughs> no it's just a simple thing you know okay let's try epdi irukinge epdi irukinge epdi irukinge ah how epdi irukinge nalla irukke okay yeah nalla irukke nalla irukke yeah oh that's nice that's nice yeah perfect perfect all good <laughs> so because because i i i i uh, used to watch i used to watch mahabharat in uh, hindi but then uh, lately i was like okay fine let me just watch the tamil version also so did you watch the tamil episodes a few ones did you watch the tamil no tamil yeah sometimes no. you get a chance no because it, see when you, when you when you when you language is very important for me as an actor because every language has got its own nuances the way i will say a thing in english or hindi is going to be very different from any other person who's going to say it in hindi the same language right correct so when i say a dialogue in hindi uh, it is going to sound and look very different from somebody else so when you dub it in another language you lose that that flavor you lose that you know it is never the same it cannot be the same until unless i personally do it myself and dub it another language but even then it will not be the same because let's say if i am speaking to you in english right now aur mujhe yahi vartalaap hindi mein aapke sath karna hai to main jis tarah se bolunga usko aap lip sync jab karne jayenge aur usko aap angrezi mein kar denge to wo us bhasha ka jo saundarya hai uski jo sundarta hai uska jo ras hai jo anand hai वो समाप्त हो जाएगा वो समाप्त ना भी हुआ तो वो उतना सुंदर उतना अच्छा नहीं रहेगा यू नो व्हाट आई एम सेइंग सो एवरी लैंग्वेज इज गॉट इट्स ओन ब्यूटी एंड यू नो इट कैन नॉट बी कंपेयर्ड इवन इफ द सेम पर्सन इज डबिंग इट इन 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 नॉट लैंग्वेज करेक्ट या सो दैट्स माय टेक ऑन इट सो द लैंग्वेज एंड द फाइनेस्ट ऑफ द लैंग्वेज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट या वेट सो सर सर इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ यू नो Uh, hard work with terms of doing different languages but i really see an amazing uh, dedication the hard work 
or that you want to give in every perfect shot you want to you know for the particular scene that shows the commitment dedication what you have for this profession so i guess this is the secret of your success be committed dedicated passionate see i you know a lot of people ask me when you look back uh, do you think you could have done the scene better what you did yesterday or what you did 10 years back or 5 years back or how you played in that particular scene in bishma or what you did in boom and you know what did you did in lakshan other films right or wrong whatever i said no um for the past many years and i would say roughly around mahabharat or probably little earlier than mahabharat i've had this thing in me that i am not going to do the scene and the take until this i'm happy with it like i'll give you an example there will be days because you tired you you are uh, shooting for 12 hours a day and then you're traveling and doing so much and and television especially is like you have to be on a roll you have to do it really fast so the director will call for a take we do a take and and he says it's fine great good shot and i'm like no i know from within that this is not me giving 100% i can go beyond this so i'll say sir we'll do one more it's like no sir this is what i want this is perfect no sir let's take a break let's take a break for 10 minutes let me sit and i'll have my chai let me have my chai so i'll call for my tea coffee i'll have you know sit and drink it and this the way i was drinking with the same mug that i've had for i don't know how many years it travels with me all over the world <laughs> so uh, had that and um, after that 10 minute break i'll come back and i'll do the scene and it'll be then it'll be perfect and the director will be like ha huh, nice or i will say that sir this is what you wanted now give me a moment i'll give it to you in another way and then obviously it is your call whichever you want to you know keep whichever take you want to keep so i never finish till i'm satisfied uh, in that very day because that day is not going to come back again so me thinking that i could have done it better no it doesn't work like that it has to be the best that very day that very moment if it is not happening in that moment i'll take a break and luckily for me my directors my producers i mean i don't take 3 hours they understand that you know whatever i'm doing i'm doing it for the betterment of the product so and a 10 15 minute break is not going to harm anyone so it doesn't happen on a regular basis it happens once in months but the if i feel that it is not going in the correct zone of not getting the sur correct the emotion is not correct then i'll take a break and i'll say we'll redo it after 10 minutes and instead of you know going on doing take after take after because i don't go beyond multiple takes of two or three and if i know that this in it's not corrected then i say take a break let me chill think it over and we go for a fresh take so there's never a day of regret that i could have done it better does it work like that for me डबल मास्क नाउ a single mask is not really working so be be very safe very very safe and uh, i have posted it on my in my videos i've shown with my own hand how the doctor is getting the injection the injection is being made i've turned the camera and the injection is being injected i've shown all that and i've worn a mask and after that with the second wave i have been wearing a second mask whenever i step out you know so be very very safe and wash your hands uh, whatever the protocol that we've been given maintain distance with people I, as long as it is not important as it is not necessary do not mingle with strangers that's what i would say you know 
so don't do that and uh, work out exercise whatever you can do because that is the best thing that you can do for your immunity your immunity is not going to come by just being locked inside mentally and physically it is going to exhaust you so whatever possible way wherever you can whatever and i've shown in my multiple videos you can run stairs in your building they are not allowing in the day i do it at 2 in the night you know but find ways keep yourself active your body is your temple and it is going to take you far so take care of your body your immunity you know work out in whatever way what kuch bhi exercise aap jo kar sakte hain kariye please do that and that's all i can say be safe and try and be positive be happy that's it pray to god thank you Anu sir, thank you so very much. You were so humble to give your time, valuable time for this interview, and you have a lot right. of insights on your YouTube channel. I wish, on behalf of everybody, your fans and everybody, my family and friends, to have all the very best. Wishing you all the very best for your projects. You also be safe. Take care of your family. And so whenever we go for a shoot, also please take care of you and your colleagues around. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you. so thank you. if at all we get a get a chance again, if you give an opportunity to, to take an interview on a different topic, I would love to take that for you. Uh, we shall do that <laughs> soon. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I hope there is a lot of insight what our audience got today from this video, from right. this Arav talks. So thank you very much. We'll see you. one more interview. Thank you very much, sir. God bless. Sure. Take you. care. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.